intelligence to grant the generals a photo opportunity. I thank you, Your Excellency. Okay. Please let's take our seats. Um, Mr. Deputy President, Prime Cabinet Secretary, Ministers, President, um, CDF, and the military team, let me take this opportunity to congratulate the new um, generals that I have appointed in various positions to preside over the various um, formations of the military fraternity in Kenya. The responsibility, I want to say congratulations first to you. Your appointment signifies your commitment to Kenya, your professionalism as officers, and the positions that you have been appointed to are positions you have merited out of your commitment to service to the people of Kenya. And this morning, you take over heavy responsibilities. I am confident that the positions that you now occupy are positions that you're going to use to build the military as an institution. The strength of a nation comes from the strength of institutions that make up the nation. Our Kenya Defense Forces is a very important institution in the Republic of Kenya. <clears throat> it is an important institution because it is among the critical institutions that provide stability to the nation. Without security and stability, it becomes much more difficult to achieve all the other aspirations as a nation. The aspirations for economic development, social development, political progress will be undermined if institutions that guarantee the stability of a nation are not in good shape. I am very proud of our Kenya Defense Forces and the entire security fraternity for their patriotism, professionalism, and dedication to the people and to the Republic of Kenya. You have contributed immensely to the progress of our country by making sure that you discharge your responsibilities, ensuring the stability of our nation so that the rest of the progress in social, economic, and political arenas can progress. I implore you to keep the tradition that today identifies our security agencies and defines the Kenya Defense Forces as a professional organization with great integrity. As I have mentioned to you before, we are working collaboratively as a country to ensure that we bring our nation together and ensure that the fabric of our society is intertwined so that Kenya can be one nation. 
a nation that is devoid of negative influence. I listened to you very carefully when you took your oath of office. And I really want you to reflect on the oath of your office because it speaks to the core of what we should be as a nation. As I have said, I am very proud of our Kenya Defense Forces and the entire security sector for their patriotism and professionalism. I want to assure you that as Commander-in-Chief, I will continue to provide strategic guidance so that together we can build a cohesive, united, progressive, secure, and stable nation. I also want to assure you that you have the support of the government of Kenya in ensuring that you have the we are with all to secure our nation and to discharge your responsibilities and mandate as established by our Constitution. Myself, my deputy, and all um, uh, members of government will work as we have done to ensure that Kenya becomes a united country. It is my desire that we eliminate tribalism and ethnicity, marginalization in our nation, that we consolidate our country into a united, progressive, peaceful, and stable nation. It is the way we are going to make progress in Kenya. As you provide security and stability for our nation, we will work smart and hard to make sure that we deliver on our commitments to the people of Kenya, ensuring food security, making sure that Kenyans have a decent home, making sure that Kenyans live in dignity, ensuring that millions of our children have jobs and have hope in our country, ensuring that every Kenyan can access health across the country, and making sure that we leave no Kenyan behind. The CDF is here, and he will uh, provide the necessary leadership in the whole, K the whole of KDF, so that, again, uh, together we can move together into the future. This is a great morning. I know it is a solemn morning that we are in this function that is significant to the nation, to yourselves as officers, and to your families. Again, congratulations to you. My very best wishes as you discharge your responsibilities. And as I do that, I have two very senior Kenyans in our midst who are now ambassadors, uh, General Mwangi and General Njiru. Uh, generals, my very best wishes as you transit into your new responsibilities in the service of the nation. Pongezini sana. Please, you can take your seat. Uh, I must also say that I was very privileged to work with General Mwangi as our FCDF and General Njiru 
as our army commander and they have discharged their responsibilities with distinction. Um, to you and your families, I wish you well. I look forward to working with you in your new responsibilities. I know that uh, I have given you difficult stations. Uh, Tehran and Islamabad are not very easy uh, stations, but um, I know that you are up to that responsibility. Um, uh, Pakistan, we all know what's going on there. We also know what's going on in Iran. And that is why I believe that senior citizens like yourselves who have wide experience are the best people to man those stations. So again, I look forward to uh, you serving the nation in your new responsibilities and also to mentor the new uh, officers who are coming into office so that we can have better leaders tomorrow than we have today. It is also what we are doing in our side, mentoring others so that we can have better leadership for our nation. So, asanteni sana, na watakia heri, na baraka, kwa wale officers ambao mume pata na fasi mpia, hapa mbele tutakutana, ndio tuweze kushauriana, vile tunaweza kufanya kazi pamoja. Asanteni sana, mungu wa bariki. God bless. Your Excellency, sir, we request for a few minutes to take some refreshments as we prepare this area for a brief photo session. But we have refreshments ready if we can all proceed for a few minutes as we prepare the area for a photo session. Thank you.